You know what this is. We all spent countless hours wasted just our little hearts out and I figured this would be a good experiment because I've always kind of wondered what a square would do if you put some hooks on it and try to fish with it and just like what kind of action it would have if that makes sense. We're not just gonna put hooks on this that'd be lame. Uh, I got this chunk of chunk of poplar here that's almost a square I just gotta cut it down a little bit I feel like that's gonna be the best wood option um, my idea here is to put a line tie right there a hook hanger here and a hook hanger on the bottom and then probably put weight back here or up here I haven't decided yet um, but I think that's going to allow it to not necessarily dive, but maybe get a little swimming action. Because so I don't want to put a lip on it, at least at the beginning. Um, I don't want to put like spinner blades on it. I just want it to be a Rubik's Cube. I don't want to turn into a spinner, because spinner is really easy to catch fish with. So, so in order to get this to be a pretty square, I'm going to use these cal calipers. And basically get what the... Uh, get the width of it then come up here kind of align the calipers right there make a mark and that mark what we're going to sand to over on the disc sander okay now we get the sand and just get this thing completely smooth so that we can carve the lines into this. We're gonna we're gonna put a little effort into this thing. It's already like halfway done. Now I need to figure out a way to carve the lines, but I need to like make them perfectly spaced out. I just did it. I'm gonna take this this file and uh, put a line on each side of the file and then carve the line out. It was moving along really fast but it's really hot down here. It's really hot today and the garage is not air conditioned so it's pretty muggy in here and batteries are getting hot and dying really quickly. I don't know I don't know if that's a thing, but it's what's happening. I mean, it's not perfect, but it'll work. I'm just gonna carve these out off camera and turn the camera back on because I don't want to waste all the battery. So I took a break from this thing for like a couple weeks. And I kind of thought about the whole idea of it like being a diving bait a little more, and it doesn't seem very uh, feasible to me. So switched it to a topwater. Looks kind of funny. I found like the biggest propeller plopper that I could find, kind of stuck on the front of that. And uh, we're the reason I kind of switched it is because it's turning into fall time and top water is pretty good and also this is probably the most likely to work and catch me a fish so I think we're going this route um, just basically just did the fit it dry fitted all the hardware haven't put it all in yet I gotta put some lead holes so the new plan here is to put a lead hole on that center square and on that one and kind of make them meet and then that'll keep this thing stable and won't be trying to rotate. Let's draw out the lead holes, come back tomorrow evening and probably finish the bait tomorrow probably and then take a fishing in the next couple days so yeah.
we can paint. Finally, I think. No. I gotta secure these. Put hangers first. That's not coming out. All I got is these tiny brushes, but I think that's fine. That'll help me. I don't know. Be more accurate, I guess. I'm going to try to be as accurate to the real thing as I can. Colors on a Rubik's Cube. So green. I do. Do I not have an opaque green? We'll make a permanent code green, I guess. I mean, we can try transparent and see what it does, but on this, I don't think it's going to do much. I think we can make this work. I'm going to keep applying layers. I'll get back to you guys when it's ready. Well, that's after two coats. I think it's going to take a couple to get this fully opaque, but... You should have put a white base coat on it. I know, but this is easier in my head. Time for red. Yeah, that'll work. kind of thought that might be a problem with the multiple drips coming off the bait um, because there's not like one point it all funnels down to it's just like a flat surface so might have to give that a little extra drippage time and then also dab some of the stuff off before I throw it in the UV box right here looks pretty good I didn't film the painting in every single color because I was just boring it's just filling in little squares and then the black lines and stuff on it, it was just really stressful trying not to get black paint on the color. I still didn't do do it perfect, but it looks pretty good. Put that in the tank in uh, a couple minutes, and then you know, we'll be done with the bait pretty much. Musky, that's what we want. Musky on the little Rubik's Cube. It floats. I mean, it spins, it makes a disturbance. It feels like a vortex. It doesn't, it doesn't like make a lot of noise. And you can't like burn it. You can't burn it. Or else it just sinks. That's gonna be a problem. But we'll think it. But there could totally be fish on these rock flats. It's also midday, so a top water bait probably isn't the best. I think it needs a bigger propeller on the front. I think that's the only thing it needs, really. Maybe farther away from the nose of the bait, too. Guess they, uh, guess the muskies weren't craving a top water Rubik's Cube. The lure. 
didn't really work that well. Uh, the blade was too small and the placement of it made it catch water. The, the placement of the line tie. <laughs> the placement of the line tie made it so that it wanted to catch water. The actual cube wanted to catch water and pull the bait down and then but there was enough weight in the bait to keep it down and the line tie was way off the nose. So then I would like bottom out and flip upside down and stuff and do a bunch of weird stuff. So you had to work it really slow and then it was super boring and didn't work right. So fail. But still cool lure. Might be able to salvage it. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe that'll be another video. I have plans that over the winter, obviously can't catch fish in the winter time, really. It's just not not practical. Um but I'm gonna save all the lures and then take all I'm gonna save all the lures I make and then take them to a super juicy amazing lake or two and just one whole video just fish with all those baits that I make and try to catch fish with <laughs> catch a fish with all of them uh, which is gonna be a lot because I, I plan on making a lot of baits this winter but yeah V is over. Catch you on the next one. Peace.